Okay, so finally we get to an example where we have a cos graph with a horizontal shift. Okay, and this is the function given that y is equal to cos of x plus 75 degrees. So again, it, it's quite simple if all we do is take what's inside the cos and make it equal to zero. So x is equal or x plus 75 degrees is equal to zero. So I'm obviously busy with my first step where I'm trying to find my starting point, my center. Okay, and uh, this is is where it is. Okay, at negative 75 degrees. Okay, so there's 60, 90, 75. There's negative 75 degrees. That's the x value. What about the y value? Now, if this inside is simplified to be zero, I, I made it equal to zero, everything on the inside, then I get cos of zero. Cos of zero is equal to one. So y is equal to one. So here's my starting position. There we go. That's where I'm going to start. And now from here, I must mark off my period. Now the period is 360 degrees divided by the coefficient of p, uh, sorry, x coefficient of x which we call p now in this case it's a 1 so my period is 360 degrees that's my period okay but I'm supposed to divide my period into 4 okay 360 divided by 4 so though my period is 360 degrees I'm going to use 90 as these little segments so from here I must add 90 Okay, so negative 75 plus 90, that's there, 15 degrees. 15 degrees plus 90 gives me 105, that's there. Okay, 105 plus 90 gives me 195. Okay, uh, 195 plus 90 gives me 200. 85 it's somewhere here okay somewhere there now these are my my little sections okay and I could go in the negative direction as well but there's no points there so the next thing is to do my amplitude that to mark off my amplitude okay I never did the center line here in the beginning sorry I forgot that okay the center line is whatever is being added outside and in this case it's nothing it's zero so this is my center line and all of this should happen on the center line sorry I neglected to mention that okay so on my center line okay if this is my starting point then the first point I marked off must be where I reach my uh, center line again the next point must be where I reach my minimum and that's where the amplitude ca comes in so I must mark off my amplitude the amplitude is the coefficient the positive part of the coefficient in front of the function in this case it's cos and that is one which means I go one unit above the center line and one unit below the center line there okay one unit above and one unit below the center line which means if I start there I reach my center line there I reach my minimum at this point I reach my center line back there and I would reach my maximum again at this point okay, which falls outside of my graph so if I were to draw this let's choose a different color okay if I were to draw this through this point again remember there's no sharp points in the trig functions okay so I draw them smoothly through all of this and I'll eventually reach there but I don't need to draw that or I shouldn't draw that because they gave me an interval to stick to so I shouldn't draw that little last part but there we go there is the graph of the the cosine graph drawn in there not too bad don't you think and as you can see it used to start there okay the cars used to start there on the y-axis at one okay but now it had a horizontal shift towards the left okay of 75 units 75 degrees towards the left and we can see that is because we are adding something to the x and that's it